Why Zoe Kravitz Divorced Ex-Husband Carl Glusman Do you know that Carl Glusman's divorce from ex-wife Zoe Kravitz had more to do with her and a personal decision? The divorce suit filed by Zoe Kravitz against her husband was finally approved in August of 2021. While married to Carl Glusman for just over two years, she spent most of that time living apart from him. When Kravitz filed for divorce in late 2020, the couple had been married for less than one and a half years. It wasn't until shortly before their divorce was completed that either of them made a public statement about the breakup. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be discussing why Zoe Kravitz divorced ex-husband Carl Glusman. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's start our video. Even though they are heartbreaking, divorce and breakups may also be beautiful. The bittersweetness of starting and ending was what it's all about. During an interview with Another's Magazine in September, Kravitz stated that delicate juncture between mourning the loss of something dear and looking forward to the future was so difficult to navigate. The daughter of Zoe Kravitz and Lisa Bonet, Big Little Lies star Lily Collins grew up in the public eye. When it came to her breakup, though, she was able to keep it quiet until it was over. When asked about the divorce in a February 2022 interview, she stated that she was the one to blame and not Glusman at the time. Zoe Kravitz reportedly met Carl Glusman in a in 2016. In October of that year, they dined with Taylor Swift, Cara Delevingne, and Dakota Johnson. Then they were seen holding hands, confirming the rumors of their romance. In a 2019 Vogue UK interview, the actress described their initial encounter as uncomfortable. She said that a mutual acquaintance had introduced the two. My friend knew I wanted to meet someone. Not even serious, I suppose, just to get banged, Kravitz stated. Wait, what? I thought as he turned around and talked to the blonde female next to him. He afterwards said he was merely nervous. Carl Glusman and Zoe Kravitz is age. They both began acting about the same time. Kravitz's first cinematic roles were in 2007's No Reservations and The Brave Ones. The next year, Glusman appeared in The Iconographer. In the years that followed, he starred in other short films. In 2015, he starred in four films, including Ratter, Stonewall, and Embers. He also appeared in Gaspar Noe's Sexual Drama Love. The film was criticized for its unsimulated and unchoreographed sex scenes. Critics said it was undeveloped and least captivating. Following her divorce from Carl Glusman, Zoe Kravitz is embarking on a voyage of self-discovery. On the cover of Elle magazine, the actress revealed that she planned to divorce her husband in January 2021. She stated that Carl was an amazing person. The relationship wasn't about him, it was about her learning to ask herself questions about who she was and continuing to discover who she was. And that's perfectly okay. That's what she was going through at the moment. Oh. Lenny Kravitz's Parisian house served as the setting for the couple's nuptials, which took place in June of this year. Despite her hardships, Kravitz claims that she is currently at the sweet spot in her life. Despite this, she confesses that being a woman in her 30s brings its own set of existential difficulties and hardships. To begin with, you're only a baby, and you feel like you have so much time. All of a sudden, the question comes up from your doctor. Would you like to freeze the eggs? The High Fidelity star responded that she was like, she hadn't even thought about that. When the time comes for her to have children, she won't feel any need to do it by a specific date. That notion that, hey, you're 30 now, you've reached the age of majority, it's time to have a family and give up having fun because that's for kids. Like, she didn't go out any longer. Roast chickens are all she cooked. She would want to go on adventures, have a good time, and watch the dawn. She was being reminded that there isn't a finish line or a deadline that has been an eye-opening experience. Even when she is 70 years old, she aims to maintain a sense of fun and mischief. Being alive was all about having fun with what you've got. A lot of fun was still ahead, and Kravitz is having a good time as well. In response to a question about her ear-to-ear -ear smile, she appeared to be sporting in paparazzi images with her supposed boyfriend, Channing Tatum. She said that she was delighted. She felt enthusiastic about life, and she thought that comes hand-in-hand -hand with it. She said when asked about her view on her love life, whether romantic, familial, or friendships, the quest is to learn how to show up authentically in all of my interactions. Even if they couldn't be there in person, it's acceptable if they've made it clear that they care about the people they were supposed to be with. I can do everything. That's the 20-year-old. I'm capable of doing anything. I can do it all, she said. My current state of mind is, everything is okay with me, no matter where or how I am. Well, that's all for today's video. Let us know in the comment section what you thought of this video. I hope that you found this one interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing celebrities, facts, and stories. And until then, stay tuned.